Hey everyone, Charlie here from the Atomic Age, and I just want to quickly go over some confusion about the term critical and how that applies to nuclear reactors. Last month I did my first news piece on interesting nuclear news for the month of March. One of those pieces was about Plant Vogel that went online, first reactor to go online in 30 years in the US. I refer to this first turn on as going critical. This is in fact the correct terminology. When a reactor is operating, it is in a critical state. Now, in movies and pop culture, go critical is a bad thing. Now, the, the first example I can think of is the 1998 video game Half-Life, where shortly before this catastrophic event occurs in the game, the, the scientist says, it's about to look critical. So in a reactor, that's actually uh, desirable. That's what you want to happen. So let's talk about chain reactions real quick. So chain reaction starts when an atom splits, and when an atom splits, it gives off neutrons. And if these neutrons find other atoms to split, this can keep accelerating, so on and so forth, you get a chain reaction. Uh, there's three kinds of chain reactions, and this has to do with how the reaction is changing over time. We'll start with critical. So this is like a reactor. This means that the chain reaction is constant over time. The same number of atoms are being split over time. There's no increase, there's no decrease. It's steady, it's stable. Uh, in nature, this is... Uh, pretty much an impossible situation to have perfectly critical. It's one of those knife's edge things that wants to like go one way or the other. But in a reactor, it's perfectly critical. That's what you want. Okay, so that's the reaction constant. If the number of atoms splitting is decreasing over time, uh, the number of the chain reaction is decreasing. This is called subcritical. Uh, this is safe. This is what a reactor does when it shuts down. This is how the nuclear fuel that I designed to be shipped is transported in as a subcritical state. Anywhere besides a reactor, you do not want critical. You do not want a chain reaction. Now, although critical means generally means a perfectly balanced reaction, like in the context of a reactor, in the context of what I do is of shipping nuclear material, critical means that or a greater reaction. So the greater reaction is called supercritical, and this is where more atoms are being split over time. Uh, this is this what this is what happens in a reactor to increase power. It's a short state. You don't stay at supercritical, but you go slightly supercritical to increase power. Nuclear bombs are supercritical, of course, and then criticality accidents are uh, generally supercritical. They get more complicated. We'll talk about that at a different point, but uh, criticality accidents are supercritical. That perfect critical—that's the proper term for a reactor. Uh, a better thing for me to say would have been perhaps initial criticality, but uh, now I said go critical because that's right. That's right for a reactor, but for almost any other situation, you do not want do not want to go critical. There's a cat walking around. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Just a quick little video to clear that up. A lot of people are concerned with what go critical means, and uh, no, it is not a bad thing. <laughs> but yeah, see you guys next time. Have a good one, and I'll see you then.